Ladies and gentlemen, it is the most wonderful time of the year. That's right, conference season. And you know, they, they call me the conference king for very good reason, because I am the king of conferences, because I'm so good at them. Plus, I keynote at most of them too, and, and plus uh, other reasons too. But, but this episode is not all fun and games. This is a serious warning. Find out what it is right after James hits it. Hit, so, uh, did, oh, now, okay, The Brad go. Johnson Show. Three, two, one, ignition, blast off. Welcome to The Brad Johnson Show. I'm Brad Johnson, and I'm turning losers like you into winners like me. The Brad Johnson Show, with your host, Brad Johnson. Get ready to start winning. And now your host... Brad Johnson. Hey, I have the extreme luck and good fortune of being Brad Johnson himself. Here, as always, assistant to the host with me is James Kirkland. The extra Welcome lucky the Brad- assistant host. Brad um, Johnson's show. Pay you enough, you should be. Anyway, anyway, I'm turning losers like you into winners like me. So glad to have you here, pouring my voice into your brain cavity about conferences today. Because, man, <laughs> I tell you what, James, there's something about conferences that just gets me excited. It's literally like a business vacation, but you get paid to attend it and speak at it. Exactly. At least I do anyway. But, you know, there's there's this element of trust, though, that's inherent in every single conference. You're, you're going there and you're you're trusting in like the, the organizers, the people that put it together. But trust. Right. What, what do I always say about trust, James? Trust is only as good as the person that's catching you in the, the instance of a trust fall. Anyway. Exactly. And it shouldn't be easily easily given. Uh, I mean, I, I, I always say you can trust like, you know, truffles harvested in the Paraguay region, uh, you, uh, like bed linens, hand woven in Madeira. Those are things you can trust. And, and for the most part, you can trust German vehicle engineering. But people, you, people, you don't like almost never. You Forget about you it. Hardly yeah. ever trust people. And people most like surprisingly are are behind conferences generally speaking therefore you got to be really careful what you do there because there's some false ones out there so we're going to talk about all that today help you not you know get into any of those fake conferences because here at the brad johnson show we're all about realness okay and we're also about helping you salvage the wreckage of your life through mind tried to answers that are guaranteed to change your life maybe even for the better but before we get to this vital episode that may just save your life it's time for a word from our sponsor All right, James. I've I've been dying to get into this um, this episode for a while because it's so much information in it that I think most yes. people don't even realize they didn't know, which is exactly. scary. Yeah, people just kind of they they take they take conferences hook, line, and sinker without even thinking about where they're coming from and and who's behind them and any of that. Like for example, who is Ted? Nobody knows who Ted is, and yet they mm-hmm. still watch those videos on YouTube and there's millions of views and people attend them and pay a lot of money to go to it. And people don't even know who the guy is. Yeah. And it's such a waste of time too. Like, you know, we just launched the, the Fred conference series and that's, that's just so much more impactful because it's not, it's not just talks, it's experiences because talk is so cheap. And so, yeah, you got, you got false conferences all over the place and uh, right. people don't even realize this uh, a problem. Like they, they're just like, wait, what? Like a false conference, like a fake conference? I've never heard of such a thing. It's totally real, and it's fraud- fraudulent conferences are everywhere. Um, I would say most of them are are actually fraudulent. So mm. we really need to equip people to know how to spot them and how to avoid them and how to shut them down. Exactly. Because, yeah, if you if you end up at a, at a fake conference and you take a picture of yourself and tag yourself on Instagram at a fake conference, like, <laughs> I, I can't right. even imagine, like, the, the social blowback. Like, your your trust score on social media just, like, drops to the floor and the yeah. basement and, and below that, below Definitely. the basement. So, anyway, we are talking today about 12 red flags yeah, just things that you need to know so that you can spot fake and fraudulent conferences. Now, this is so important because, like I said, it's a waste of time. It's going to destroy your credibility and all sorts of other things, too. So let's Definitely. jump right into this, James. I want to hit number one, first of all, because that's the first one that we're going to hit. Of course. Number one, the conference name seems off. That's the first red flag. Mm. 
Mm. Yes. That's important. Yes. This is this is so true. I mean, I, I always say what's in a name? Everything. That's what I say. Because yeah. there's so much that's in a name. So when you see something like, like just take this podcast, for instance, it's the, the Brad Johnson show. Everybody knows who Brad Johnson is. Everybody knows my reputation, right. my amazing good looks, my hashtag Instabod. Like they know that I'm the real deal. Okay. I actually own several Lamborghinis, like a lot of them. And yeah. I actually have swimming pools and I actually own a yacht. Therefore, if it's like the Brad Johnson conference, Boom, like instant credibility just yeah. off the name. Immediate credibility. There's no there's no question. But whenever it's whenever it's a random person or just just a big corporation or something, like who do you like how do you know that they're not gonna be telling you lies the entire time? Yeah. Like, you know, that happens at video game conferences all the time. Just because it's a big company, people just think it must be safe. And it's not. It's not. It's not at all. And that's, that's, man, people just throw con in front of something like, you know, there's like the comic con or the, the vid con or the, the media con or what. And like, you can't con. just do that. You can't just, yeah, Viet Cong, like the king of Kongs and like all the, your cons that, that's different. Anyway, uh, what I'm saying is like, just because you put a con in front of it doesn't mean that it's a pro. Exactly. Yeah. And it has to have that credibility. Otherwise, just don't even waste your time. It's probably fake and they're probably just going to overcharge for for no real value. Yeah. All right. So watch the name. Make sure it's uh, under and we'll get more into credibility here in a minute. But let us go on to number two. Number two, the scope of the conference is too broad. Okay. So right here, this this is the the subject matter that you're dealing with. Something like uh, movie con. Okay, what is what is a movie? Mm. A movie could be anything. Yeah. You could be talking about your home movies. You could be talking about like actual Hollywood movies. You could be talking about the movies that I may or may not have starred in. I mean, there's, there's so many movies out there that you don't even know what you're dealing with just by the name of the conference. Yeah, and it can't be of any benefit to you if it's not in a specific niche that's very exclusive. And only a few really important people know about. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you want to have that. We've talked so much on this podcast about niching down. You, you got to have that. And if you don't, you're wasting your time. All right. Number three. Number three is high registration fees and fishy money requests. And this is something I've, I've actually run into when I was asked uh, to book you for some different conferences. Uh, a few times they asked for um, $2 million up front as a deposit and then after you spoke they would give it back but they wanted it delivered in hundreds in a briefcase wow now if that's not fishy i don't know what is you can't even fit that in a briefcase they don't even know what no doing. exactly Obviously. that was the that was the crazy part about it. i was like there's Amateurs. no way i'm gonna fit it in there so forget it yeah <laughs> ridiculous yeah okay so and then the other thing i want to say about this because this is not um this is not a hard and fast rule i'm gonna say because high registration fees can mean quality Okay. So you got to take that into consideration too. That is true. That is true. Yeah. But you also have to have something to show for the high registration fees. Like it better be, you know, at a high class resort or have some huge giveaway or something that's involved with it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's, there's got to be the value behind it. And I would say, even if it doesn't have any of those things that you mentioned, just having a, 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 a leading name on the marquees like Brad Johnson or something like that, that would be enough to justify those high registration fees. And, you know, you're really not going to have to worry about fishy money requests unless you're like, um, you know, in, in like some kind of C related. Uh, yeah, fish con industry. I think one. Yeah, like, I don't know what that would even be. I don't think there's much money in fish. So anyway, all right, next, uh, next one, let's get on to number four. All expenses paid is probably too good to be true. Now this, we're not as concerned about this one. <laughs> yeah, no. And I, I, this is again, kind of like number three, where it's not a hard and fast rule. It's one of those things that, yeah, you know, maybe if it says all expenses paid, just double check, but I think yeah. double check is enough. Well, like, that's all you need. if you're poor, maybe this is an issue, but it's not an issue <laughs> here. So. Well, and it has a lot to do with the fact of what you're delivering at the conference. Because for me, I'm going there to keynote and be the conference. Like the conference wouldn't be the conference without me. So exactly. therefore, like it makes sense that they're paying all my expenses all the time. Exactly. All right. So let's, uh, that's number four. Number five. Number five. There's something strange about the website. Huh. This is a dead giveaway. You know, I mean, if you go to a website and it's not like high class professional looking, and especially if there's no pictures of, of fancy cars or Learjets, like then you know that you've got a big problem just right, right. there. And the gate. 
And if they don't have dot website as the domain name, forget it. Like <laughs> we all know that every professional business has dot website as its domain. So it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. And I mean, it's like, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, what is, sense. what is it? It is a website. Duh. Exactly. Like <laughs> you wouldn't say that this, you know, uh, this Mercy Lago is a automobile. Like, uh, right. you, if you said that, it would be the same, like, that's the sort of thing of, um, so yeah, you want to make sure that the website's good. Right. All right. We number, do number seven. seven. All right. They ask for personal information. Now, uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no on this one. Actually, I I don't mm. know how this got on the list. I think that's um, you kind of have to, right? I mean, that's that's the whole part of a conference. Like you're you're building your 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 email list, you're building your your subscribers. Like that's that's what it's all about. And they gotta have personal information to make that right. happen. Yeah, they want you want them to know you completely before you show up so that they can meet your every need and expectation exactly i mean if uh, you want you want them on on your social media you want them you know knowing you deep and intimately so that the experience that you can enjoy at the conference is actually you know a worthwhile one because uh, yeah you just right. got to make that happen okay number nine number nine red flag is there are lots of similar events happening at different locations and times Mm. So this would be the classic piggybacker method, uh, which actually I've surprisingly used quite successfully uh, before. Uh, somebody else, um, uh, what was his name? It was like uh, Richard Branson, I think, or something like that. Anyway, some some dude who you know, thought he knew he was doing something. I was like, I was putting on a conference and, and he was going to be putting on a conference. So I was like, ah, you know, I'll, I'll call it something similar and put it close. And then, you know, people get lost and they end up at my place. Like, not a big deal. Which, you know, that was fine because yeah. mine was a legitimate conference to begin with. So, you know, I don't know about exactly. his, I'm not, I can't really say there, but I will just say that, you know, it, it works pretty good if you need to get some bodies in the door. Definitely. Yeah. And if you're, if you're going to do it, you got to do it right. Yeah. Just make sure it's a legitimate conference, you know, that you're actually not, uh, it, make sure it's a legitimate conference that you're accidentally going to. All right. So number 10, not being able to talk to someone in person, which I, I don't, I don't think we agree with this one either, because why do you need to talk to people when they just are inviting you to come talk to a crowd, like why do it ahead of time? <laughs> yeah, no, I, man, sometimes we pull, pull these lists, uh, you know, credit where credit is due. This is uh, speakerhub.com or something like that. Some random website and they, they came up with this list and I was like, oh, this looks okay. And I didn't really look at it because I didn't have time. But uh, yeah, so I was just, you know, like we do with most articles, we just kind of pick through the the meat and chew out the bones and stuff like that. So want to be want to be careful that we're not taking all this as as one hundred percent true. But uh, yeah, so I would say if you can't talk to someone in person, it probably means that the conference putter honors are too busy and like too winningly uh, to actually like have time for you. So I think that's a good thing, right there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Number eleven. Almost there. Home stretch here. Number 11. They are known for being a predatory conference. Okay. So I know exactly what they're talking about here. This is the type of thing where you go and there's just like the hard sales pitch and they're just putting it on you and you're just like, dude, I'm already a millionaire. Like, why do I... Why do I need to sign up for your stupid little program thing? And they keep like putting it on you and putting it on you. They're like, do you even know who I am? And they're like, no, like come up on stage. You're a loser. Like you need to sign up for this or else your life is going to be ruined. Wow. And like, you know, even if you do end up you, not caving, but, you know, giving in as, you know, a sign of respect to their pressure that, you know, it's still kind of a predatory conference style of thing. So if you're yeah. in the middle of that, I'd say get out of it yeah and i would say that if on the other hand if the if the conference is based around how to be a predator in business that's different and you should totally go to that one yeah yeah uh, no i would agree with that because <laughs> yeah if you're not a flying snake like me and my <laughs> entrepreneurial spirit animal right there uh then yeah and uh, that is a, a predator. You got to learn how to become one so that you can actually win at business. So, all right, let's take it home with number 12. Number 12 is ask around if you are in doubt about the legitimacy of conference. Okay. So if you're not sure, like, okay, is this a real or fake one? Like just, you know, ask some people or not. 
Like, I, I think a lot of times people don't really know what they're talking about anyway. So I don't know if this is actually a super helpful tip or not, really. Yeah. And really, I mean, the best solution to all this is just start your own. And that's what we've done. And it's just been it's been a lot easier. Yeah. No, and I, I'm super excited, actually, about the uh, coming Brad Johnson uh, show course that we're putting together, which you can check out the uh, link to the website. There's a link up top on the website that says uh, course. You just click on that and has the coming soon information. You can put your email in there. That is like for real coming soon. And I can't wait. New and improved Brad Johnson course. You didn't think it could be improved, but bam, like I, I'm all about defying expectations. So that's what I did here with this one. It's going to be amazing. But we have a whole module in there about how to put on your own conference, which, <laughs> man, tell you new people, it's solid, solid, like platinum is even better than gold. Definitely. Yeah. You don't have to ask around about this conference and this course because you know it's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just like you know that I'm going to be good because I am. All right. Thanks, guys, so much for listening today. Go avoid those bad conferences. Just, you know, don't waste your money. Instead, spend it on the Brad Johnson Show course. That's where you really need to spend it so you can put on your own conference when you want to do a conference thing. All right. Thanks, guys, for listening. Remember to share this with somebody. If you know somebody who's looking at going into a conference and you think it's shady, share this episode with them. You may just save their life. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao. Thanks for listening to The Brad Johnson Show, where every episode we bring you tips, tricks, interviews, advice, and answers to fix the mess that is your life while helping you stop being a loser and start winning in business, health, and your personal life. Show us your face, tweet us your tweets, and insta your grams at Brad Johnson Show. The Brad Johnson Show. Winners only.